Chris asked me to do something, so Carol and I did something for Memorial Day. Uh, persecution results as a collision between the worldview of the church, or God's worldview, and the worldview of a particular government or religion. That's where persecution comes from. And Proverbs tells you, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous man do? And what we've been doing here in Western civilization, especially in the Anglosphere, is blasting away at the foundations of Western civilization for over 50 years, and then thinking that we're going to stand. If we keep on this trail, we will not, and persecution will follow, because all the fundamental rights we have in the West, right to freedom of speech, right to freedom to practice your own religion, all of those rights are under severe duress today. So for Memorial Day, Chris asked us if we do something, and so we did. Freedom isn't free. Freedom is a fluke of history. It's the exception, not the norm. No army has ever created freedom. Many countries had armies, but their people were not free. Freedom must first exist in the hearts and minds of the people. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But freedom only comes slowly and often painfully. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. For others, freedom came much later and often with much struggle. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. For those who have freedom, there are always those who would take it away. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. No army has ever created freedom. But if freedom exists in the hearts and the minds of the people, then their armies can defend the people who defend their freedom. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Freedom has come at tremendous cost for many people and for many years. Freedom is not free. Remember.